myself miss priyanka lala sab deshmukh working as assistant professor in nanasri institute of engineering and technology satara my department is gender science and humanities and my subject is polymer from previous video um, in previous video we have discussed about the polymer definition of polymer polymerization process different example of the polymer one of that is the plastic and the effect of a such a polymer like plastic on the ecosystem and how to overcome that situation we are discussed for that video number of like is 26 and number of views are 100 in second week we have discussed about that regarding the polymer there are iso 17422 2018 standard was discussed in this video this iso standard is related with the safety standard for polymer and plastic material and also discuss environmental impact and sustainability for that video there are number of likes 35 and number of views 122 so the video outcomes regarding that first is apprise environment and sustainability standards related with the polymer and the plastic material second for inclusion of environmental aspects in standards for plastic product and third relate the carbon footprint with the action of the individual a family an organization or even an entire nation so iso standard related with the polymer material plastic manufacturing process there are number of the iso standards but i am here discuss with the three of them first is iso 17422 2018 the purpose of that plastic environmental aspects general guidelines for their inclusion in standards inclusion of environmental aspects in standards for plastic products second iso 22526 part 1 2020 the general principles and the system boundaries for the carbon and the environmental footprints of bio based plastic product third one is iso 22526 part 2 2022 material carbon footprint amount of co2 that is carbon dioxide removed from the air and incorporated into polymer molecule so first iso 17400 Twenty-two, two thousand eighteen. Here, it provides a structure for the inclusion of environmental aspects in the standards for a plastic product. Second one, pro it provides the guidance of value to those involved in design work and other activities where environmental aspects of plastic are being considered. Third one, the use of technique for identifying and assessing the environmental impact of technical provisions in standards and for minimizing their adverse effect. Fourth one, use of renewable resources and minimization of the use of non-renewable resources. Second ISO twenty two thousand five hundred twenty six part one twenty twenty. This document specifies the general principles and the system boundaries for the carbon and environmental footprint of bio based plastic product, and and also the environmental awareness. Third ISO twenty two thousand five hundred twenty six part two twenty twenty. This uh, document also defines the material carbon footprint. as the amount of co2 removed from the air and incorporated into plastic it specifies the determination method to quantify it so this is uh, so we know about that the greenhouse effect so general greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide ozone chlorofluorocarbon etc so the greenhouse effect is excessive heat retention could lead to massive changes in environment and the temperature of the planet would be similar to the condition expressed on the moon so the global warming potential here i am discuss with that the uh, greenhouse gas emission from the plastic processing industry the it gives the information on the relationship between the energy consumption and the energy uh, greenhouse gas emission here uh, some of the gases of greenhouse carbon dioxide co uh, that is co2 One meter cube, sorry, one gram meter cube. Methane CH four twenty one gram per meter cube. Nitrous oxide N two three hundred ten gram per meter cube. Energy and greenhouse gas emission. Electricity is the main source of energy with the electrical costs counting for three to four percent of the cost of production. Electricity is used to provide the heat to ex 
extruder barrels and to energize extruder drives electricity is also used as a power source of hydraulics chilling heating and compressed air and for providing ventilation air condition and lighting of the building natural gas cost on the account for approximately 1 to 2% of the cost of production natural gas is primary used for heating water and facility but can be used in many other application within the plastic manufacturing process here the greenhouse gas emission performance greenhouse gas emission are considered as either direct emission as a result of combustion of the fuel at the plastic processing facility or indirect emission as a result of fossil fuel combustion required to generate electricity used by the plastic processing facility the factors used to estimate the emissions of carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide resulting from the combustion of natural gas so here uh, which represent approximately 85% of the plastic product sector direct emission emission uh, factors from the natural gas combustion uh, like gas carbon dioxide it emission factor is 1880 gram per meter cube methane 0.0048 gram per meter cube nitrous oxide 0.02 gram per meter cube so this is a greenhouse gas emission and carbon footprints analyzing for polymer manufacturing process this paper discuss that carbon footprint analysis of a manufacturing process is based on the large scale polymer food tray production using the polyethylene tetraethylene the methodology utilized allow for the calculation of the carbon footprint in accordance with a pass that is um, pub publicly avail available specification 2015 of a 16.6 gram recycled pet means polyethylene tetraethylene tray based on the cradle to grave life cycle using the irish plastic manufacturer as the experimental basis for each for the research primary activity data was measured for in house process while secondary data was used for the upstream and downstream stages the carbon footprint of the 16.6 gram pet trays was found to be 23.42 gram co2 or 1.410 kg co2 per one tray the raw material inputs and manufacturing process were found to contribute 45% to uh, and 33% of the greenhouse gas emission respectively the end of life stages was found to contribute 18% of greenhouse gases while secondary packing uh, packing and transport stages contributed only 2% of each by manufacturing the tray with 85 recycle content the carbon footprint was found to be 60% lower compared to bench mark based on only virgin material utilization by the increasing the end of life recycling rate from 22.5% to 32% the carbon footprint was found to be reduced by 2% the transport was found to have a minimal effect on carbon footprint this is a carbon footprint analysis for a polymer manufacturing process now how to achieve the sustainability in poly polymer manufacturing process first is bio based and degradable plastic second is energy efficiency in plastic processing third one is increasing the use of recyclate in plastic product this is the sustainability in the polymer manufacturing process